and welcome to the Nexus for our Ghostbuster build. So I'm back up with my Ghostbusters. Um, we're going to be starting on issue 9, stage 27. Uh, so we're building the bulkhead. So I'm just going to put these aside just a minute. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building um, the bulkhead that sits along uh, this front section just here. So I'm a bit behind, as you can see, as you well know. Um, obviously, over the Christmas period, it got very busy for me and work and everything else. So I put it on hold, but it's now not on hold. And um, I've got up to issue 14. So I've got a lot to do. So make sure you click to subscribe and follow me, please. And that would be that would be uh, wonderful. So let's get going. We are doing issue 9, uh, stage 27. Let's just cut the uh, parts out of here, like so. We've got all the screws here, which is nice. And we've got our bulkhead just there. Uh, we will need, uh, obviously, a screwdriver. So uh, that one, and um, we also need some tweezers as well. So these are all the parts. Uh, the first thing we need is this section here. And I do believe this small section just here. And uh, that goes in just like so. We're gonna be using um, EP screw, so where's an EP screw? Do, do, do. Uh, there we go. So we're going to be using, let's put the rest of this aside for a minute. So we're going to be uh, attaching this with an EP screw. So let's just uh, pull that out. And We'll put it into the hole just here. Let's uh, use the magnet that's on the um, on the screwdriver just here. It's not going on at all, is it? It's already a disaster. What's going on here? Okay. Oh, I thought I had it then. See, this is what I normally don't record. Me fiddling about. I've got so many screwdrivers and the screwdrivers are half magnetic and I'm using the one from uh, my Iron Man build because it's just a hand there. So that's all in. Because you don't want to see me fiddling about with all this. I mean, no, there's bits coming out, there's stuff going wrong and... Oh. So I thought I'd leave it in to see, you, see me fiddling about with this. Because, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's the matter with it today. There we go. Yay. The good thing about this, it only goes in one way. So there's no way of... Uh, I don't know, sort of mucking it up there we go so just like that <laughs> see I don't normally fiddle around with stuff like that now we need the bulkhead itself and we're going to use an IP screw so I've got one just here let's put those screws back and now we now we need to just identify where this goes so We've got a guide pin. I don't know if you can see that little guide pin just there. And it goes into that pin just there. We'll just about line it up. There we go. My piece screw from the back. And there we go. So that's um, the first uh, section done, just on there. I do believe that sits, oh, maybe not, maybe it sits like that. So 
it sort of sits on there. But anyway, that is the first stage done. Next stage we need um, this section here. And I'm trying to figure out now what other section I need. Ah, there we go. This, this section just here as well. And uh, a little box. So we're going to use an AP screw. And we're going to screw this little box. Once again, it comes with like um, um, a, like a little guide pin, which just goes into there, like so. And we're going to use an IP or an AP, AP, AP screw, just into the top of this. like so so that sits on just like that um, we are next going to put on this section and we are putting it on like uh, like this so on here there's a flat end, um, there's a flat end on here, so it only goes on one way. I'm just trying to, uh, it's all about just lining up, just like that. And we're going to screw that together with an EP screw. So, EP. And. Just through so that like that. There we go. So that's like that at the end of there. <laughs> like I said, I don't normally film all this. So we've got a guide pin on the back of that and our screw pin, which is just here. And this goes on the opposite side. So it's all just about lining up. So it's just off at an angle slightly. And we're gonna use a, an, an EP screw again. to attach that to our bulkhead there we go so. whoa about just getting it in there in the first place and then just applying a little bit of pressure to screw it in so we just use this one right. so. so that is what that looks like at the end of uh, this section, which is section two. We're now gonna start on section three. Okay, section three of this, we are going to attach this with an EP screw. Uh, so an EP screw just up there. And then we're gonna attach it to our bulkhead just here with the guide pin as well. Uh, just up on this bit just here. Also with an uh, EP screw as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, so we've done that. As you can see, just there. So now what we're going to do is attach uh, this um, to where it's supposed to go on the bulkhead. 
and we're going to attach this wire as well and attach a few other wires to this as well we're also going to clip it in place with uh, OM screws just at the base here just on these uh, these bits just here so let's uh, get this over now it has sat for a while so it's a bit it's a bit dusty of course it is so I'm just gonna try and check now where Um, okay. Okay, so just trying to get a little bit closer to this so you can see what I'm doing and a bit more of a of a view so let's uh try and zoom up slightly so i'm just going to try and see as you can see here no it is dusty like i said it's been uh it's been sort of sat on a shelf got quite dusty and I'm just trying to see now where this wire is supposed to be going and the magazine doesn't give you uh, too much info it's really strange so it's supposed to go from here to here so it's like um Oh, so there's like a little section just here so it's supposed to go in there and up here somewhere but i'm going to have a close look to see if i can do it okay i see where it connects now so just here the pipe comes up and actually connects on to our reservoir so what i'm going to actually do is place it This side of the steering wheel. And I think that goes in just like that. There's a few other wires I'm going to uh, put in here. And uh, I'll show you the end result. Okay, so I've gone ahead and done all the wiring, which was quite fiddly to be fair. Uh, the next thing I did was the OM screws just here, and I'm just about to fit the IP screws. Uh, just uh, you get two on this end and two on the opposite end to secure this bulkhead in place. That's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so last bit on this build, on this section I should say, um, or this stage, is our bulkhead struts, which are these. And we've got the uh, brackets for them as well. We need uh, HP screws to do this. And uh, they come like this. You've got a threaded end one end and the plane end the other end. We need the threaded end first. So they screw, basically they screw on to this section just here. And then that, that I've put around the wrong way. So they basically go on here, there's a guide pin. And what we're going to do is we're going to screw this in first and then pilot it through. So I'm just going to screw this one in first and make sure it's in place like so. Then what we're going to do, there is a hole just here and it's not for the screw end, it's for the normal end. So this is going to go through like that. And then I'm going to just gently screw that on until this bit's a little bit shorter. And I'm going to do the opposite side as well. So at the end of that, I've done it. As you can see, the struts are in place. Uh, 
they were very stiff to move. I noticed that there was a, a little bit of excess um, sort of paint on the end, which was stopping it from going through. But now it goes through really nicely. And this one's a bit tougher. So I used just a pair of pliers just to grab the end and uh, to twist it. So it went on. And uh, once it goes through a little bit, it actually is fine. It's then fine. But that is it for uh, stage 27. Uh, in stage 28, I do believe we are doing the exhausts. Um, I'm not too sure. I think it's the left exhaust we're doing. But anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And uh, we'll see you at the next video.